Hi everyone, welcome to day 11 of ERD countdown series for NABAR grade 2025 exam. First, let us quickly see answers of day 10. First question was day 10 ka regarding the benefits, ecological benefit of multi-storied cropping system. Multi-storied cropping system hota kya hai? In this, what we are doing, we are utilizing the vertical space. So what we do, we grow tall heighted crop with the short heighted crops. So students, all those crops which are shade loving are grown below the tall heighted crops, right? Through this, what we are doing, we are diversifying the crops. We are increasing the rate of return from the same land as well as we are using the sunlight, water and nutrient efficiently. So answer will be option C, enhance use of sunlight, nutrient and water. Third question, sorry, second question, lay farming primarily involves. So students, what is lay farming? In lay farming, we grow legumes and grasses along with the uh, tilled crop in rotation. And why we are doing so? So that we can increase soil fertility, increase nutrient status of soil, reduce soil erosion and all these things. For all these things, this thing is done, right? Answer will be option B, growing grasses or legumes in rotation with tilled crop. Third question regarding advantage of lay farming. Ab advantage mein kuch bata di hai aapko. So here answer will be option D, require minimal investment and labor. Ye advantage nahi hai. Rest you can see are the advantage of lay farming. It improves nitrogen content uh, in soil. It will reduce erosion and deep drainage. It will increase livestock efficiency. Kyunki jo bhi aap grasses or legume grow kar rahe ho, you can use that to feed your livestock and it will ultimately increase your soil organic matter. With this we have completed answers of day 10. Let's quickly see questions of day 11. So first question is, how many agroclimatic regions were identified by Planning Commission of India? The options are 10, 12, 15, 18 and 22. Very important, uh, do uh, learn about the agroclimatic regions and then let me know the answer. Next question, what percentage of India's total annual rainfall is contributed by Southwest Monsoon? Very important again, question have been already asked from the Southwest Monsoon. You have to let me know uh, the answer of this particular question as well. Third question, the Northeast Monsoon primarily affect which part of India? So students, Southwest Monsoon, Northeast Monsoon are important. Their arrival, their onset is important. And then which part they are affecting? Again, very important, right? So these were the questions of day 11. That's all. Thank you. Thank you so much.